In the wake of the Orlando nightclub shooting, the conversation of gun control has increased. Our Josh Peterson found that the increased conversation about gun control has had an increase in firearm sales locally. Since the Orlando massacre, the conversation of increased gun control has surfaced. Today, Connecticut Senator Chris Murphy launched a filibuster on the Senate floor to pressure Congress to act on gun control. It's pressure like this that has area arms dealers busy with an increase in new gun sales. Mostly because people just feel the need to be able to protect themselves. I would say with the AR-15, they feel threatened that they won't be able to purchase them. With mounting pressure in Washington, D.C. for more gun control, area arms dealers are saying there's often a misconception about what exactly an AR rifle is. So none of these that are available to the public are fully automatic. Mm -hmm. They're single shot, you pull the trigger, it shoots one round, you pull the trigger again, it shoots one round. For these firearms, the only difference is the outer packaging, making these AR rifles no different than your standard hunting rifle. This is a Remington 740. Uh, this particular uh, firearm came out, I believe, in the 60s. Uh, functions exactly the same way, uses a uh, box magazine, detachable magazine. Uh, every time you pull the trigger, it goes bang. The increase in traffic after a mass shooting is not uncommon. The reason for the firearm purchase is always the same. Protection and your Second Amendment right. I, I believe people are very concerned that they won't be able to purchase an AR-15 or anything with a higher capacity magazine. Even the handguns, I think they feel a little threatened. In Bemidji, I'm Josh Peterson, Lakeland News. Other Democratic senators are expected to come to the Senate floor and continue to push for more action on guns. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.